My name is Rumi, like what you call a roommate in the hallways, and I am a group exercise leader at IU Recreational Sports. Today I'm here with Rec Sports at Home to bring you a half hour core class to strengthen that center of your body, as well as an opportunity to clear your head. All you need for this workout are some clear open space, maybe a yoga mat or maybe some towels you can lay down, and most importantly your bodies. I'll be offering some modifications and progressions throughout the workout. And I want you guys to take it at your own pace so you can make this fit your fitness goals. And I think that's about it. Let's get this party started. Okay, okay. So we're going to get started with our slow head rolls. Already thinking about engaging that core. Just moving that neck. And right here, feel free to go into those shoulder rolls. Adding that mini bounces in that knee to start sending that blood throughout your body. Feel free to add that elbow. And right here, fingertips. Again, thinking about those rib cage in, belly button to your spine, feeling that connection from that hip to your rib cage. Feel free to reverse it. <laughs> Elbows. It's like you're putting on a backpack. Fingertips. Beautiful. And right here, go into that big hug. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, exhale. Really feeling that opening up that chest and feeling the upper back. Then going to those twists. Again, posture nice and tall, and feel free to go into that reaches. Getting warmer, starting to build heat here. Beautiful. And right here, knee to elbow. Feel those obliques. And feel those core start to warm up. And you don't have to necessarily go with the music. The music is just there for funsies. And here, hamstring curls, bringing that heel towards your glute, opening that chest. Beautiful. We're almost done with our warm up. Go into that high knees or knee taps, bringing our arm over your head, really getting that blood flow flowing. Making sure you're bending from the hip flexors. Beautiful. We have four, three, two, one. Shake it off, shake it off. All right, the first set starts off with that knee to elbow, making sure your legs are parallel. We're starting in three, two, one. Begin, here you go. Feeling that oblique, still trying to build heat here. But this is our first circuit. We're doing 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off for the first two circuits. Beautiful. Again, making sure your knees are in line. You have a slight bend in that knee. Posture nice and tall. Shoulder blades together. Yes. Really, really feeling that crunch with the standing ab exercise. 10 seconds left. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Shake it off, shake it off. You know what's coming next. Obviously, the left side. <laughs> All right, again, making sure your knees are in line. We're going to start in four, three, two, one. Begin. Here you go. Yes. Again, making sure your weight's evenly distributed on that foot. Really, really feeling that crunch. And don't forget to keep breathing. Testing your balance out a little bit. If your core, core's not tight, you're definitely going to fall over. So <laughs> hold that core tight. Opening up all the way before you come back in. Try not to slouch your back. 
Yes. Keep breathing. Ten seconds left. Nice. Three, two, one. Fifteen seconds off. Shake it off. Shake it off. The next exercise starts off in that big sumo squat, going side side, twist twist. Again, that side side twist twist. Making sure you alternate which side goes first. Beginning right now. You go down. Here he goes. Again, you don't have to go with my pace. You can go at your own. Just make sure you stay nice and low, feeling that crunch and that obliques. Nice. Remembering to alternate which side goes first. Beautiful. I don't know if I'm alternating. <laughs> Pretty good, pretty good. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Stay nice and low. We're almost there. Ten seconds left. Keep breathing. This one's a burner. And you're done. Shake it off, shake it off. That was hard. Okay, okay. The next one, you're going to start at the top corner. Twisting all the way to the back. Making sure you have two 90 degree angles with that knees. Beginning right now. Here you go. 45 seconds on. Cutting that tree. Yes. Twisting all the way to the back. Making sure your rib cage is in. Especially at the top. Slicing that arm through. Really, really feeling that obliques. Nice. Making sure your rib cage is in. beautiful again don't forget knees over your ankles nice and try to look at the back wall twisting all the way 10 seconds left right here nice and you're done shake it off shake it off we have the other side obviously again making sure that knee is making 90 degree angle Three, two, one. Begin right here. Woo. I lost my balance a little bit there. Really, really grounding that foot. Rib cage in. Slicing that arm all the way down. Beautiful. Imagine there being like a burrito around your waist. <laughs> Making sure your rib cage is in line. Nice. Beautiful job. Keep breathing. 10 seconds left. Twist it through. This is the last exercise in our standing circuit. 3, 2, 1. And you're done. Shake it off. Shake it off. Now we have our transition circuit starting off with that side plank. Making sure your elbows, your shoulders are right over those wrists. And we begin in three, two, one. Here you go. Again, you have those options to do side planks from your knee, straight line from your head to your knee, or straight line from your head to your toe. Or level three, you have those options to float that leg up, making sure you're not hyperextending that elbow. Straight line from that head to your toe, or your head to your knees. Whatever level you need, just take it at your own pace. Keep breathing, keep breathing. You have five more seconds left, or ten more seconds left right here. Again, hold that core nice and tight. Three, two, one. And you're done. All right, all right. Obviously, we have the other side. Again, option here, level one. On that knee straight line from that head to your knee or level two on your toes or level three float that leg up try to make sure your wrist your shoulders are lined up over those wrists beautiful nice yes you guys are rock stars keep pushing Nice. You guys got this. 
Think about how much strong you are right now. Then when you started this workout, making sure your elbows are not hyperextended. You have three, two, one, and you're done. <laughs> all right, all right. The next exercise in this transition circuit are those planks, making sure your belly's in line, elbows not hyperextended. Three, two, one. Big and right here. Again, straight line. Shoulders lined up over those wrists, making sure your head's neutral, not looking down, not looking up. <laughs> and your um, glutes in line, level three here. You can add those leg lifts to test your balance out a little bit. Nice. Again, you have those, always have those options to do those planks from that knee. Or just regular planks. You have 10 seconds left right here. Nice. Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, shake it off, shake it off. All right, all right. The next exercise are those mountain climbers. Level one here. One leg kick in. Or level two, those mountain climbers. Or level three, you can take it faster. And begin right here. Again, same thing with those planks. Make sure your head is neutral. Feel free to take it at your own pace. Feel free to take it at your own level. <laughs> nice. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Shoulders over that wrist. If you want a little bit more cardio, you can take it a little bit faster as well. Just making sure your um, bottom is in line with your body. 10 more seconds left. You guys only have to do this circuit once, so finish it strong. Show me what you got. And you're done. <laughs> okay, okay, the next one. This is the last thing in this circuit are those fire hydrants. Oh, making sure your um, core is nice and engaged. Or level two, spider climbers. Begin right here. Yahas. Again, we only have to do the circuit once, so finish it off strong. Or level one, don't forget, you have those options to be on your knees. Make this fit your fitness goals, make this your workout. The amount of effort you put into this workout determines the, eff the results. So push yourself just a little bit, but not too much. You have 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, all right. We're moving on to our next circuit. We're going all the way up or as high as possible. If you can't come all the way up, that's okay too. And begin right here, full setups. Making sure you plant that foot on the ground imaginary being some kettlebells or some dumbbells on your toes yes really feeling the whole front part of those abdominals engage yes classic killer and if you always want you can always ask a friend to hold your um, feet too but again, you don't have to come all the way up. 10 more seconds. What a great classic ab killer. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. And you're done. The next exercise are those Russian twist posture nice and tall. Or you have those options for those legs to be floating up. Whenever you're ready. Three, two, one. 45 seconds on. Here you go. Again, posture tall slightly <laughs> yes there you go again you have this option to float that leg up and if you have your legs crossed cross it the other way right here we're already halfway done we want to make sure our body's even M make sure our body's symmetric prevent injuries if you ever feel pinch in that hip you can always put that foot back down on the ground 
or come up just a little bit. You never want to feel any pain. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Shake it off. Oh, wait. Yeah, there you go. Shake it off. Shake it off. The next exercise are those、um, tricep in and outs or those tuck ins in and outs. Whenever you're ready, pick your level, pick your level. Begin right here. If you're doing those triceps, make sure your elbows go towards the back wall, wherever back is to you. Making sure your palms are facing your feet. Or again, level two are those tuck ins, really, really targeting that core. Don't forget to keep breathing. Nice, nice. We're almost there. Keep, keep pushing. Nice, nice. <laughs> Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, that's a killer, too. The next one are those pulses. Level one, feet on the ground. Level two, feet off. Level three, boat. Pilates 500. I'll be ready, I'll be ready. Three. Two, one, begin right here. Nice. Posture nice and tall. Again, try not to curl that back, flat back. Nice, nice. Again, just going over options level one here, level two, toes off, and level three, boat. You guys got this. It's only 45 seconds, right? <laughs> And here's my reminder to keep a smile on your face, especially during isometric exercise like this where you're holding one position. Keep smiling, keep smiling. Five more seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Yes. And the last. Oh, and we have a superset here. We're gonna combine it two full sit ups, Russian twist, in and outs, and then our pulses. We're gonna do the superset for a minute and 15 and begin right here. Again, that's two sit ups, two Russian twists, two in and outs, and our pulses. Again, feel free to take it at your own, li- own level, own pace. Beautiful. As we practiced when we were isolating it, you have those options for boat or those feet on the ground. And you always have the option to float that leg for that. Russian twist. This one's a fun superset. Again, go at your own pace. This is your workout. <laughs> It's only a minute and 15. Yes. You guys are killing it. Even though I can't really see you guys. I know you guys are killing it. Beautiful. Nice. Twist it, twist it. Killer abs. Nice. Imaginary being. Weights on your feet for your full sit ups. Beautiful. Three, two, one, and you're done. Oh, that was a hard superset. But our next circuit starts with 45 seconds of regular crunches. You have those options to just crunch with that feet on the ground, or you have those options to get that toes up to the ceiling, making sure you get that shoulder blades off the ground every, every time. Three, two, one. Begin right here. 45 seconds. We're gonna start with 45 seconds, 15 seconds off, like the rest of the workout, but we're gonna start cutting it short later on. Getting that shoulder blades off the ground every single time. If you ever feel tension in that neck, try to redirect it to your core, making sure you're not crunching that chin. Try to keep that head neutral. Beautiful. Again, go higher than what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to look at the clock simultaneously. But you have five, four, three, two, One. All right, all right. The next exercise are those 
sit up twists, twisting through the obliques or level two bicycles. Whenever you're ready, we're gonna start right now, 45 seconds. Again, really, really crunching. Or those bicycles. Again, you, can, you have this option to take that bicycle a little bit quicker if you want a little bit more cardio, but really, really focusing on that core. We're almost there, almost there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Yes, I like this song. <laughs> We're almost there. We have about five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. And off. All right. The last exercise in this circuit are those leg lifts option here. Um, reverse crunches or level two. Toes straight or level three. Palms next to you in a supine position. And you're up. Again, level one. Those crunches, reverse crunches. Level two, leg lifts with that hand underneath your butt. Level three, palms next to you in a supine position for level three. Again, making sure your belly button's going through to the bottom of the mat. No space in that lower back. Yes, really, really resist the urgency, the tendency to lift that back. Yes, don't forget to keep smiling. <laughs> Yes. You guys got this. Three, two, one, and you're done. See, not too bad. Okay, now we're doing 30 seconds of regular crunches or legs up. And you're up right here. Again, option here, feet planted or option two, toes up. Getting that shoulder blades off the ground. You guys got this. It's only 30 seconds. Yes. Nice. Again, head neutral. You have three, two, one. And you're done. All right, all right. The next exercise are those sit-up twists or bicycles. We begin right here. 30 seconds. Nice. Keep breathing. Yeah, it's really twisting. I can always the option for bicycle. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Crazy, crazy. Last thing are those leg lifts. Again, reverse crunches. Level two leg lifts. Level three palms next to you. For a little bit more challenge. And begin right here. Again, don't forget, so many options available. Nice. Belly button going through to the bottom of the mat. We're really feeling that lower abs, targeting that lower abs. Three, two, one, and you're off. 15 seconds, catch that breath. We're gonna make it into a 15 second round Begin right here, crunches or toes up, crunches. It's only 15 seconds, so there's no rest. But you guys got this. Finish this. This is the last thing we're going to do today. So finish it really, really strong. And right here, 50 second crunches or bicycle crunches. Yes. We're almost there. You have three, two, one leg lifts. Again, you can put those hands underneath your glute for a little bit more support or next to you for a little bit more challenge. Beautiful. 
and right here start slowing down that leg lift super slow starting to get the heart rate back down beautiful again always imagining there being glue underneath the back lower back trying to do single legs to catch that breath nice beautiful and right here we're gonna do both legs one last time getting that heart rate back down and you're done you guys just beat my workout my workout didn't beat you you beat the workout letting everything go giving that right knee a hug rolling that ankle releasing all the pressure from our standing exercise and with the next exhale feel free to bring that leg across your body both shoulder blades on the ground looking towards your right hand side gently pushing down that knee with your left hand coming back to center whenever you're ready flexing and pointing that toes and release other side again rolling that ankle release pressure from our standing exercise and with the next exhale feel free to bring that leg all the way across your body looking towards your right hand side or left hand side gently pushing down that knee with our right hand and come back whenever you're ready give that knee a hug point and flex those toes and extend it nice and long and then slowly roll over to your stomach meet me at that sphinx pose on that forearms pressing that shoulder blades down or you can always take it up to a cobra pose for a little bit greater stretch stretching out that abs and with the next exhale send that glue back to your ankles into a child pose breathing into that lower back really really releasing all the tension and then push that crown of the head up into a plank and just hold and find that center one last time and with a generous bend in your knees walk your hand legs up to your hands and just hang there you can always grab those ankles for a little bit greater stretch and with a generous bend in your knees, roll up, vertebrae by vertebrae. And right here, open that chest up to the ceiling, rotating that arm in and out inside its socket. And try those bear hugs one more time. It's going to feel different than when we started, recognizing that it feels different because we made so much progress. And catch it at that deltoid stretch your shoulder stretch making sure you're catching it in front of those elbows or behind those elbows not on those elbows and right here front and back catching it at that tricep making sure your rib cage is in feeling that connection between that rib cage and that hip bone i can toss it again and catch it on the left side or the right side nice and right here just let that head go slowly rotating and feel free to rotate it the other way nice and right here we're gonna finish it with inhale and exhale one more and with this exhale i want you guys to send all the bad energy in your life away exhale and that's about it. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for taking my class today. I hope you guys got a good workout in. This was Rec Sports at Home, and we post new videos every Monday at 12 p.m. with different instructors and in different formats. So I hope you guys tune in next week. And you can find us on the RS website or the RS YouTube account. And this whole playlist can be found in the RS Spotify. So I hope you guys follow us there. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or comments, or suggestions about future classes, you can use the Ask the Trainer section on the RS website to, you know, make your voices heard. I hope you guys enjoy this class. Again, my name is Rumi, like what you call your roommate in the hallways, and this was Core 30. Bye!